Do you guys remember this place? Sh it sure seems like time has flown. Man, like 10 years have gone by like lickety split. Let's get to it. Oh, have I missed you. The 80s have turned into the 90s. I know that will be depressing for some of you. Man, I just love the 80s. It seems like that was the perfect time to be a farmer, even though it wasn't exactly a profitable time in the U.S. But man, have I... I'm so excited about the 90s. We got so much opportunity. We have basically not been... Uh, upgrading any of our equipment we still have the 4755 the 4050 the old white 2270 this little sassy massy right here i just love this little skid steer and of course we splurged in the 80s we got this uh 9600 yeah it, it was a 1989 and uh it definitely was a taxing time for the farm uh we did have the ego it was the 89 too it we kind of put ourselves in a lot of debt uh it took us a long time to get out of that hole oh man last year was not a pretty year too if you see there's a lot of crops we weren't able to get out it was a terrible winter we just could not get these crops out, so we kind of had to take the loss. Luckily, we did this new thing called crop insurance. It kind of saved our behind, big time. So we actually have a little money in the bank account, if you see that right there. First time in like 10 years. We are in the plus side, so... Gina, she's still kicking. She's old, but she's still a good dog. What are you doing to that tree? Oh, okay. I just love you, Gina. I'm so glad you're still around. So if you don't know, our row crop planters can definitely use a little upgrade. We have been in a prior century of uh, planting. Uh, it's kind of time to uh, get with the big boys. It's... We need some better uh, precision in our uh, planting operation. And I believe this is like 36, 36 inch rows. I don't think that's a 30 inch row. It sure seems wide. But we need to update our planting operation big time. But I called the John Deere dealership. They got a planter that possibly could work for us. In a tractor I know we got plenty of tractors around the farm but uh, we got some money to spend why not splurge it and they got John Deere came out with a new 8000 series man that power shift the look of it whoo sexy tractor I wouldn't mind having one of them but we're gonna go check it out see if we like it and uh you guys think I need to upgrade my truck I don't know if I'll get rid of this uh, GMC or my Ford back there. Ooh, I left on my taillights. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's going to kill the battery. Let me shut these off. I think we need to upgrade our truck, too. But I would like your suggestions. What is your favorite 90s truck? Uh, I have a favorite, but I don't want to persuade anybody. So I do have a favorite 90s truck. I would like to know your favorite 90s truck. What truck should we use for the 90s here? I have to say, I kind of like the 80s trucks a little bit more than the 90s. But that's just a personal opinion. kind of like the 80s tractors more than the 90s. But I have to say, harvester-wise, I definitely like the 90s better. But... And semis, you know, they just keep getting better and better, I think. But that's just my personal opinion. But the 80s is just the golden age for me and trucks. I mean, look in here. So simple, so elegant. 
I know, I know. You guys are probably like, uh, Stevio. Uh, you're kind of weird. Yeah, I can be at times, but this is a very simple truck, and, uh, it's just nice. I mean, just look at that. Four-wheel drive, you just right down there. You don't even have to, uh, turn on the hubs for four-wheel drive. I mean, that that's quality right there. So we're going to head down to the dealership. Because uh, we need a tractor uh, and a planner. But I think just to warm up that tractor, I might get some tillage done. If you don't know, look at all this uh, tillage we need to get to. That's a lot of tillage. That's a lot of, like, uh, seeds that were just destroyed. As a farmer, when you grow a crop and you can't harvest it, it's just almost devastating to you. I feel like a failure, and I feel like a failure. I gotta till that up so the neighbors don't have to look at it. I don't have to look at it. It's just embarrassing. This stuff is just embarrassing. You gotta fix that. All right, we're gonna head over here to the John Deere. Looks like a hmm, old international truck is here. Sure does look like Grant's truck, huh? You trade that in? Getting a serviced? I don't know. One of it. Something's happening with it, that's for sure. Now, look at that lineup. Man. Got an 8820 on the end, too. Yep, 8820, it's seen its day. I'm pretty sure that's Grant's. Yep, I'm thinking that's Grant's Harvester. I might be wrong there. Kind of look, has some little wear and tear on it, that's for sure, but uh, he must have traded that in. He must have went big school. So this is a planner. We are going 12 row. We are go This is huge. This is huge for us. So uh, this is like a uh, night and day upgrade from our old planner, which I think is important because seed placement, seed depth, that's all important. So we can hold chemical with this liquid chemical not dry pellets and uh this is max merge 2 see or uh so these are our tractors we have to select from so we got a 4960 this is definitely one of my favorite old iron tractors out there uh the cab room is not the best if you can see it's not exactly uh optimal but it is a nice tractor that power shift you know uh this thing can basically take a lot of hours and keep on ticking we got a 8400 front wheel assist man um this thing looks brand spanking new it's got all the weights on the front doesn't have a quick attach looks like it has four remotes I mean this is nice inside you got that power shift got everything look at all them digital controls and look at that that radio looks out of this time period definitely a beautiful tractor but to be honest this has always been my favorite one of my favorites, you guys probably know my other favorite for the 90s, but uh, the 8100, uh, just a two-wheel drive. 8000 series, I don't know what it is. I just think this is one of the best-looking old tractors out there. I just don't like how the front-wheel sits looks, and I've always liked the two-wheel drive version of this. I know, I know, for tillage, this might not be the best operation, but you know what? We're going to use this for planting. This is almost the perfect planting tractor. We still have that uh, Alice Chalmers back there for tillage, so we don't really need it for tillage. I might put it on the old chisel plow just because it's a new tractor. Why wouldn't you drive your new tractor? But definitely, I think this is a perfect planting rig. I've always liked the looks of these old two-wheel drive fronts. Man, I just I just have to have this. That 
front end is such a game changer. I mean, look at the difference between it. I know it's kind of, I'm kind of like, oh, who cares? It's just a grill. But to me, I just think that looks so good. You guys know what that white thing is on top? It's almost like he has a cap on it. That's weird. Sure sounds good to me. We've got, it's full of fuel. We've got to purchase this thing, so. I just like how all the controls are on the armrest. Everything's nice and easy. It sure helps on operator fatigue. Whew. Yeah. Definitely. I just gotta see how it looks on our planner here really quick. Just have to see how this thing looks together. You know with farming, it's all about the looks. Yeah. Now that is a setup right there. Yep. Can't beat that. I know you guys are probably like, uh, oh, it's just a planner, but I mean, look how big that thing is. We have, our planners were probably made back in the 40s. I mean, look at that. Or the 50s. This, the 90s. So we are gonna get this back to the farmyard right after I purchase this. I know, I know, I, I already sealed the deal prior to even come in here, but I wanted to leave a little suspense of which tractor I was actually gonna pick. But you guys probably already knew as soon as you saw it, to be honest. So we're just gonna go sign the papers and then uh, we are going back. Um, I don't know if I'm just gonna keep the other planters back at the our shop or not. I think I might just use them as backups or, you know, I don't know. They might just uh, end up, the weeds might be growing around them and we'll have to move them out. The only time they'll move is when we have to mow. Maybe. I don't know. You guys are probably asking, why are you roading it when you have a semi? So our semi trailer is actually in the shop. So... I mean, nowadays these uh, tractors go at such a high speed anyways, it's almost uh, kind of useless to even get them on the semi-trailer. We don't have that far, we only have about seven miles from the shop, so, or the dealership, so we're just going to road it back. I'll have to get my wife to drive me back, pick up the truck, but uh, get back in the jippy if I can stay between the lines. All right, we got our giant planter finally back to the farm. We're going through it. We definitely have to change out a few bearings, which is kind of strange because this is only a few years old, but we're going to change out some, a couple guidance wheels, a couple bearings, and we should be all right. It shouldn't be too big of a deal, but it this just comes every year. We want to go through it, just make sure it doesn't happen in the field. We don't break down in the field, that is. Uh, I'm still loving this 8100. Uh, this is one of my favorite looking tractors, but you guys are probably like, where is the red on the farm? So I plan on getting some red. Only problem is it's going to take one of my tractors selling it to get it can't afford it right off the bat so one of these tractors has to go don't know which one yet thinking right now the white 2270 will be sold but I don't know I don't know maybe you will have to let me know which tractor would you like to see sold maybe you guys already know my favorite 90s tractor but I already plan on Plans are in place to get one. I've just been looking all over for one. Haven't found one locally that is in a good price range yet. But soon, soon there will be some red in the shed. And I'll even take it out of the shed and use it once in a while. So now the tillage machines have to come out. So I'm going to take the Alice Chalmers. It's going to be, I'm going to pull it out because I need to get to the chisel basically. Uh, I think I might back up the... 9600 just so I have some room man this old charmers it didn't want to get out of this shed man it's so hard getting this articulated tractors in them uh, fine minute places it's just wants to uh, throw the rear end or the front end around it's 
We're gonna leave this over here to the side. I'm gonna have to go through the old disc here soon, but for right now it's just gonna have a parking spot right there. All right, so we hooked the new tractor up. Why not? I mean, we purchased a new tractor. Why not use it? I know that 4755 would probably be a better tillage tractor and definitely that Alice Chalmers, but that's on the disc. We'll leave it on the disc for now. Uh, we just got the, basically the chisel. So being this ground was not worked up in the winter, we had a bad winter. We had a bad harvest, even though, thank goodness, we were safe with insurance. Figured a chisel would probably be the right tool breaking up these ground. Oh, wow. Listen to this thing purr. It's definitely a little challenged if you can hear it. It's definitely pulling it hard. Yeah, our RPMs are way up. It's screaming, but it's getting it done. Oh, yeah. Got a little hill up here to get. Oh, uh, the deer got it done. Just love this tractor. Maybe I'll get one of my favorite case tractors here one day on the farm. If I can find it. If I can find it. I know you guys think I'm too green, but you know me. I'm not brand loyal whatsoever. Man, this is definitely a little tricky. When you're in the cab and you're at an angle like this, oh, I just hate that feeling. It just feels like you're gonna fall out in the seat and tip over even though when you get out of the cab and you look at it, I'm like, oh, I'm not even at that much of an angle. But when you're in the cab, I don't know what it is. It just feels like uh, you're about, you're teetering on the down hero side. tractor so we got the tillage done uh, I ended up having to till it twice if you could see so I uh, cross tilled it in another direction just because we had a lot of cover from last year's crop to I needed to uh, get tilled in so it breaks down earlier so the ground would warm up a little bit better we still have a lot of fields to do I know little Timmy that's in grade school right now. He wants to get into the, his uh, Alice Chalmers pretty bad and start tilling. So I'm going to have to get in front of him, hopefully, so he could disc that stuff up. Because we are going to have to chisel it and disc it. And probably disc it prior to the planter. Just to try to get rid of all that... Uh, just to get rid of all that residue from last year. Because basically the whole crop is there and usually the harvester does a good job of breaking up that residue but uh, this year not so much because we didn't harvest it so I thought about maybe burning it off but I kind of thought better of it just because there's so much to burn I thought it would get too hot too quick and uncontrollably and then our uh, neighbor Grant might have his whole place burned down and then uh, I don't think anybody would like me then very much. All right, we got that parked right there. So I'm going to look over and just to make sure. I, I think I have a few twines that I need to replace here just before I get to the other fields. And, uh, and then I'll have to get the Alice Traumers ready to basically uh, follow me when in my tillage practices. Little Timmy. He could follow me. But thank you all for watching. 
and I will see you later over here in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. Oh, Gina, do you have any parting words? Oh, uh, yeah. Make sure you like the video. Thanks, guys.